is witchcraft like the movies portray it to be? Well, the answer is no. Witchcraft is not like that. Witchcraft is energy, movement, manifestation. It is spell casting. It is communicating with your spiritual guide. But how could you know that? Because the movies always portray witches to be a bad thing or witchcraft to be so evil and satanic. Well, it's not. It's, it's, it's who the person is that's um, practicing the magic. It's about how you set it up. It's, a, it's about what you're feeling and what you're thinking in order to get this particular future. I mean, take this with you. Take one thing with you. Start changing from within. If you start with just a few simple things, change the way you think, pay attention to your thoughts, concentrate on what you're thinking. Um, do some changing around the house. Uh, start cleaning things. Start overanalyzing stuff. Stop uh, hanging on to the negative feelings and negative thoughts. Let them, in, let them go in your past where they belong and leave them in your past. It is not necessary to keep on dwelling on the what you don't have. Uh, don't dwell on uh, who you're not with or don't dwell on uh, oh my God, I feel so bad, I'm so heartbroken, I'm so hurt. It's not necessary. You need to focus on you and change begins with you. And if you start focusing on that and you'll start to see some changes within your future, within your present. But spell casting is not something that everybody should do for themselves for the one simple reason, a lot of things can go wrong. Why? Because you're not setting in the correct energy. You're not setting in the correct feelings. These are very huge energy bubbles that we set out into the universe. And when you don't set them out correctly with spell casting, it can cause a tremendous disaster. That's something you just don't want to do. You should hire a professional to do so. But the problem is with hiring a professional comes a tremendous um, danger of hiring a scam artist. Someone that's going to promise you the moon and stars and wave her magic wand and give you all the magical dreams of a movie magic. Well, the horrible truth is, it's just not that way. There is no such thing as a hocus pocus or a wham bam, thank you ma'am. I mean, people need to understand that if you want change in your life, change begins with you. And if you want a certain a lifestyle or if you want a certain somebody in your life you can have everything and anything you want there is no such thing or such word as can't can't is I mean take it out of your vocabulary it doesn't exist can't is what you put in your own mind you put yourself into limitation the universe didn't do it to you God didn't do it to you people didn't do it to you you're doing it to yourself because you really believe that can't does not exist. It doesn't. Can't exist in your imagination. Stop feeling that way. Start imagining a life that you can manifest and make it believable. Start off small. Uh, imagine a friend calling. Uh, put your visual there. Picture this friend that you have not heard from in a while and really, really manifestate on it. Really concentrate and put your energy into it. And let the energy make you a believer. Let the magic of the universe make you a believer. Because it can and it will. Once you start off with that, once you accomplish this, and once this old friend that you have not heard from in a while calls you and contacts you in a positive way, I hope, then you can move on to bigger things. I would not, like I said, suggest any type of spell casting that you should do on your own. It's, it could be very dangerous. You can cause a complete whirlwind of wrongdoing, more so than right doing. So don't do that. Um, pick up a book. It's called The Law of Attraction by Michael Lauser. I'll post it on the name of the book and the name of the author on this uh, post. You'll be able to find it right just below. This book is very, very, very informative on what the law of attraction is, what energy is. Energy and law of attraction and witchcraft 
is basically all one. It's the same thing. There is no difference. Energy and witchcraft, we believe the same. We feel the same. We live off the earth, off the universe. We believe in the energy of the universe and the energy of the earth. And when combined, makes an extreme powerful force. Okay? Relationships. Relationships are difficult. We often get very confused. We often get um, sidetracked. And as women, we dissect too much in general. We need to stop dissecting. We need to stop taking things so emotionally. And stop, uh, and stop and realize that the whole relationship is not like a honeymoon 24-7, 365 days out of the year. It just does not work like that. Relationships take work. Nothing good comes easy. Nothing easy comes that good, neither. I mean, if you ever noticed when you, if you went out and you bought a pair of shoes and you spend, I don't know, say you spend $500 on these shoes, you're going to take care of these shoes. You're going to cherish these shoes because you worked hard to get these shoes. They're yours. Rather, if somebody gave you a pair, then you're not going to take as good as care of them because they were just easily given to you. It doesn't, see, it's, you need to cherish the things that you do have. You need to be thankful. You need to be, you need to have gratitude. And when you have the, this gratitude and you have this thankfulness and you're portraying this energy out into the universe that you're excited, you're excited for what's going to happen because you know everything in your body tells you that you're going to have everything and anything you could possibly dream of, wish, or bring into your mind, it can become reality. With that being said, I have a whole lot more that, that I can offer you. I am offering right now a $5, 15-minute free consultation. Now, with this consultation, you call me up and you ask, we'll, we'll talk about what's going on in your life. We find out the, where you're seeing some difficulties, what's the problems, what do you want to see changed, uh, how I, I'll tell you how I can help you, I'll ask you several questions, and then I'll do a small meditation, which will take me about an hour, in which you will call me back, and I will tell you what I found out. Now, when you call back, that's free. So when you call me back, I'll tell you what I found out. What? Now, when you call me back, I will let you know what I found out. I'll let you know if I can help you. I'll let you know if and what spells would benefit you, how long it's going to take me to complete your case from beginning to end, what we need to accomplish. We'll set up a whole plan for you. We'll map it out for you. I'll give you a step-by-step -step and a play-by-play. I also want you to know that I use books, I use meditation tapes in order to get you reprogrammed. You have to understand something, your mind and your subconscious mind, your conscious mind and subconscious mind, we use them and your subconscious mind is way more, way more stronger than your conscious mind. See, you might be trying to think positive, but your subconscious mind is hanging on to the negative energy. It's hanging on to the bad things that did happen and you're focusing on that and your fears are lingering on those bad memories. Now some of these memories are suppressed and we don't even know that they're there. Some of these memories we hang on just because as they're like security the blankets and we're going to let that happen again. Or sometimes you know, we just we're just scared. We're totally scared to go forward and our fears don't allow us to. Well, I mean, fear is a negative energy. It needs to stop. And when it stops, your life changes. I'll take you through the steps. I mean, I can go on and on for hours. But uh, to make a long story short, just go ahead and click on the uh, link below, and it'll take you through the steps. Don't hesitate. Thank you.